In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add color swatches that can control a carousel. We will also add remote counters and remote arrows and connect everything to a background slider that's going to show the same colors as the swatches down here. Let's get started. To get started with our layout, I'm going to open a section with two columns. And in the first column, what I'm going to add is a card carousel. So let's push that in over here. And that card carousel, I'm going to change it to show only one item each time. Now, what I'll be doing is actually taking off some parts over here. So Let's take off the arrows, let's take off the bullets, let's take off the text and the button. So what we're left with is actually just an image and some text. We can also take off that top little line over here, which is awesome. Great. Next thing is I'm going to add my items. So over here, let's add a picture and let's search. I want to see if I have my shirt pictures awesome and let's add the first one and i'm going to give that a name dark blue and since i don't want this video to take too much time i'll jump to when i've added all my shirt images great so i've added all of my shirt images over here and each one of them i've added a title so we can know which one is what and as you can see it's cutting off the image so i'm going to jump into style and over here i'm going to jump into image and i'm going to push the height up a little bit and inside of the image fit instead of cover i'm going to change this to contain and now you can see that we can see the image correctly now what i want to achieve is to add some swatches, color swatches, that will allow us to navigate between the different colors of the shirt over here. So what I'll do is I'll add a widget which is called Remote Item Navigation. Let's drag that inside over here. And we need to connect these two together. To do that, I'm going to jump back into the carousel, go into Content, content widget settings and enable remote connection. This is what will allow both of these to connect together. Let's go back to the item navigation. And what we want to do over here is actually leave only the colors. So we don't need an inner icon. We do not need a label and we do not need a title. We want to be left only with these little circles over here. Let's see what we have over here inside of the items. And what we'll do is actually just add a background color for each of these that will represent the color of the item. And we will link them to the different items inside of the carousel using numbers. So first of all, let's see over here inside of the items. We have dark blue, light blue, orange, purple, red. Now we need to do the same thing over here. So dark blue, light blue, we'll go to item number two, purple, add item, orange, we'll go to number four, and last one will go to red. Awesome. So we got these set up and you can see that they're already allowing us to navigate between the different slides. Now we just need to give a different color. So let's go over here. This one is for light blue. Let's go to the next one. Sorry, the first one is for dark blue. So let's go for dark blue light blue
awesome purple orange and last one is for red cool and you can see this is working awesome great oh this one is supposed to be orange and this one's supposed to be purple so what I think we need to do is swap between orange and purple change this to three and change this to four good now we should be okay now we're good perfect next thing I'm going to do is style this a little bit so let's go into style and let's change this to 20 pixels by 20 pixels and in active let's also let's do a width of 80 pixels just so that looks a little bit cooler and over here we'll do 20 pixels look how cool that is 80 is a bit too much let's go for 50. okay great so now we have the active set up and really you have a lot of settings over here you can change the border and stuff like that i'm going to leave it as is to continue doing my layout and what i want to do is actually something pretty cool i want to add a background a changing background color that will suit the colors over here so to do that i am going to first of all i'll take the first color so let's go into item navigation dark blue i'm going to copy the hex code jump into the section and i'm going to use a background widget over here in unlimited background going into background slider and i'm going to enable remote and sync as well over here and what we want to do is actually put the background color over here so it's synced with the background color over here and now we need to do this for all the items so dark blue and then we have light blue then we have orange and purple and last one red awesome so i think that's set up pretty good let's just copy the hex code so i'm going to go to the second one copy the code back to the background add the hex code and just so it's not so annoying and jumping all the time what i'll do is i'll take off the autoplay so let's turn off autoplay over here and turn off autoplay inside of the carousel so let's turn that off and now it won't be moving all the time the next part what i'll do is actually let's click update because i see this sort of went out of sync so let's save and update awesome so now it's working and let's go over here and inside of style height I'm going to do fit to screen and over here in the column I'm going to add a background color just so we see these over here a bit better so let's go into style background add a white background let's add maybe make it rounded we're working on the whole column right now you can also add a shadow and in advance i'm going to add some padding so let's go for 60 pixels awesome so that's better let's copy the next color the orange color and try to add that to the background so style limited background orange great we have two more let's see that the light one is saved yes we have two more so let's do the purple one 
over here item navigation purple and I'm going to copy that go to the background and paste and now we have only one left so let's go over here copy the color and I'm going to paste that in my background great so we got the background set up now to test this I'm going to save and preview it in the front end just so we can see that everything is synced and working something over here is not synced so let's go into the carousel over here and turn on sync now that should sync it to the background as you can see now it's syncing awesome next part let's go into the carousel over here and I'm going to change the border to none let's save that and to finish this up what I'm going to do is add some arrows and a counter on the right side so let's add first of all a title a heading and let's vertical align this to the middle I'm going to change it to white I'm gonna give it a title our most selling products looking good over here in the section I'm gonna do column gap wider just so we have some nice gap over here and it's not not so close to each other and I'm going to add some remote control arrows on the top that are going to control the layout this is working pretty good and I'll also add a remote counter so let's add that over here maybe let's move our arrows to the bottom our counter I'm going to align it to the start and let's change the colors of everything to white so we can see those and maybe let's make the active color which is actually the current color or the current typography let's make that bigger the alignment here is kind of funky so let's change that to center which is looking good and this is connected let's click update and preview so this is our layout we have a carousel over here with remote item navigation which is acting as color swatches the carousel is connected to the background it's actually synced to the background so each time we change an item in the carousel over here the background changes we have this connected to a remote counter which we can see that we're in image one out of five and we have remote arrows that help us navigate everything that's going on so that's our layout i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and i'll see you in the next video